Hey everybody, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're doing great today. This design, it's going to be probably a, like um, experimenting, showing you, let's see what happens. But the idea that what I have in mind is to show you how I made a, I can make a rose. And this is dedicated to um, my friend Thomas McNulty because he was talking about a waving rose or how to wave a rose. And the thing is, usually, when I am in a party and I want to make something fast, uh, I make a, a type of rose that I learn because I watch a tutorial from Junaimi. And I think that's a very cool rose. A lot of people make tutorials about this rose. So I don't know who's the original creator of this type of rose. And I'm going to show you while I'm twisting my loose. But also I'm going to show you how I make the waving. Okay, so there's different ways. There's, so I guess we're going to talk about roses, but... It's more, um, what is, without really practicing. I tried to do it a couple days ago, so I made a couple roses, kind of, and then I went to a party and I gave them away. And I'm so bad that I even didn't take a picture. So what I was trying to make, it was waving and trying to make a rose, but um, everybody loved it because it's also about colors. Remember, if you use red, you know, for the petals, or red for whatever you do on top, and then green on the bottom, above the red, it's going to look like a flower, at least. But for sure, it's going to look like a flower and people can think it's a rose. So, um, even when I make the turtle, the classical, really cute turtle, people think it's a frog. So, <laughs> I'm okay. Whatever people like it and they think it's whatever they think it is, I'm fine. I don't feel, you know, any problems or conflicts about that. Even if it's a design that I create myself, I just made something I think is cute. I like it. I don't even know what it is sometimes. And that's it. You know, I'm not com unless maybe if I'm making a specific character, uh, for example, more into caricatures, like if I make something I really like or someone, I, a person that I think is going to be cool to make it out of balloons and, and people don't see it, maybe that will be kind of worry. But at the end, it's fine, right? What is art? And and the idea is you kind of try to do your best. That's it, I guess. I don't know. So let's start with the first, the basic rose. I'm going to blow. Here I have my agenda. They have to be black all the time. So that's what is here. In this little corner, you see? That's where you can see the little agenda. So the trick for this rose is you blow the balloon and you kind of leave like eight or even nine, ten finger tail. I'm gonna, I don't have a ruler, but let's see. It's like eight plus two, approximately 10 finger tail. So you have this. What you can do is you grab like a four finger bubble or five. Things doesn't have to be perfect, whatever is easier for you. I just do, I just do this and twist. And then I measure the same, the same size for all the four bubbles we're gonna make. Um, so, you know, I just measure, if I make this one this way, the other one is kind of like close at the same place like this. And twist. Then the nozzle, locked. Then four finger bubble or five, twist. This is the third bubble. I just open the bubbles. This one, the two first one. And push by rolling the two first bubbles, you roll and push the third bubble. Then I always, before twist, I squish. So I squish, I make like two finger bubble, pinch twist. Two finger bubble, one more, let's see. Pinch twist. Now one more, so it's the, supposed to be three. Two finger bubble, pinch twist. And this is line twisting for sure. You have this, now you're gonna make the four bubble that is going to measure the same idea, the same size as possible, like it's four or five finger long. And you still have some part of the nasal here. You see, you pull and it's nasal there. Then you can pass this around by twisting. And then the nasal again go through and locked. With the rest, what I do is I squish and stretch. So this became now like a 160 size, skinny. And when you have a squish and a stretch, you squish and put in between two bubbles of these ones, like pulling the air, look, I'm pulling air, 
and then pushing like squishing the air, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just squish air there, so it's squishy. Well, twisting, and now this is gonna go around. But while I'm gonna run, I always kind of like to even twist a little bit, like so. That's gonna make the design more stable. Now you can stop in the same place that you will start, or you can go as a little bit more, just so it can close in another in between another uh, two of these bows. It's up to you, and it's how you feel in the moment. But when you have this, again, you pull the nozzle, it's still a little bit of what people think of. You just, when you tie your balloon at the beginning, leave a, a long nozzle, a long tip in the nozzle. But you pull, and I'm used to this, so I still using the nozzle. I twist it around, and then again, hide the nozzle in between bubbles, hide it through, and it's locked. That's it. Now, you have something like this. Look at this. So this it's already like a very cool and I love it and I make it all the time rose. It may change a little bit for the original that I saw the first time in the tutorial, but then it, that's the idea. You choose your favorite ways, you add, you take less, you add more, I don't know. And this is what it is for me and I like it. So when you have this, you still have balloons. Wow. So now you just need the stamp and you can choose between 260 degree I like the spring green, it's so cool to make this for the stamp, My, that's what I like. Or you can use a 160. If you use a 160, it kind of give it more character for some way, because people are used to see more the 260s. But with a 160 and this big rose, it looks even better. It's another opinion, it's up to you. Now, if you don't have 160, it's okay, but I'm gonna show you how it will look. So you play your balloon, like, you don't need to blow all the way. That's the cool part. That's why also, also this is a cool way to use it for a line twisting because sometimes even inflate the balloons can take longer. The cool thing about using 160, you can inflate it super fast. 160 is inflate faster than a 260. So, unless you're using your mouth, you have to like blow very hard if you're using, using a, a 260. I mean, a 160, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now you have this like eight finger tail and then what I do is I make like three or four if you want loop finger loop three or four finger loop because if you notice you want also some of these leaves to be outside so people can see in different angles you know when they use the roll so this is kind of the fastest three finger loop three finger loop and three finger loops so you have this now, when you have that, then the rest, you can make it with one leaf here and then another one leaf here, if you want. Or when I'm in a hurry, you can you can always make the S, you know, soft and squishable and twist. And this can be, you can make this one more time, another S here and twist. And there we go. And you have this. This is the stem. This is the flower. Now let's put it together. You can cut, but I recommend you to leave a long tip here if it's possible. So you're gonna cut it, leaving a long tip, and all this is gonna help you to attach it around the leaves. And also you can open again between bubbles and pass this piece through the roll, so it's gonna be more stable. So. Okay. And trust me, this is for sure practice. This is a line twist design. It's like it's, it, it is a line twist. And look how beautiful this rose is. I think it's a very cool way to make a rose. You can always find the best angle, especially for pictures. But this is the design, and that's what I do when someone asks me for a rose in an event. Now, let's go with waving so if i'm talking about waving i may think about at least these three balloons so you can see better now if i use red and all the balloons are the same color it's gonna be hard for you to see because i you see i have a red t-shirt i shouldn't change but no, i'm not so i'm gonna choose colors that you can be able to see more but i use purple pink and one more let's see what do you think some um light blue so these three colors imagine these are in a rose the same color but there's also rainbow roses so 
You want to blow your balloon all the way. So that's what I'm doing. I'm blowing the balloon all the way, leaving a little bit of a tip. And even with a little bit of a tip, you're going to lose some air. You see? That way it's going to be easier for you and the balloon is going to be entirely soft and squishable everywhere. Because we're going to do this type of waving that I think that's what you're talking about, um, Thomas. So you have this and you have to repeat with the other two balloons to 60. <clears throat> Roll the balloon all the way. Lift some air up and then tie. So everything is soft and squishable. Okay. One more time. Roll the balloon all the way. <laughs> leaving you full here so then you know there's a little bit of space there that you're going to use it to tie it together these two hold it loose some air and tie you see so this is how i do it when i'm in a you know in an event and i want things to be fast okay, so while i'm explaining you i kind of like also um sharing some tips so if you're in a hurry you can always grab all these at the same time and twist it together okay grab all and i mean find the half things doesn't have to be perfect remember you're just trying to do your best like imagine the half do this here's all the connections and three now you can you do this you can push this more even if each one is half so you grab all this and you can find half Okay, and now it's gonna be a little bit harder. So that's why I don't know until what point you wanna complicate yourself. Because then it's gonna be like the way we more, you know, like to, to, to get it closer, but it's gonna be a little bit more harder. And you can do it, but first practice the first waving. Okay, so you can always grab this. This is make sure it's all soft and squishable and squish all together, grab it. And so you grab the first and twist it. But you know what? If you already do this, this way, and do the same with the other way, it's gonna be looking like a cool flower, no matter what. So let's keep it like this. I think let's keep it simple. Don't complicate much ourselves, especially because it's not that soft. Okay, so we are here, we are here. Okay, so. Now, in a moment, the idea is when you make this waving, it's gonna look like a flower wave, but for a rose, it seems like the, they have even more petals. So what I'm thinking is you have to also do another waving here or something that represents like a waving, even these rose inside here. So then when the wave is made, the rose is going to look like it already open, you know, the, because the rose can be closed and then start open, open, open and, and then die. So you can make this part of the rose, attach it here and then make this waving that I'm going to show you right now. So let's see what happens. I'm all, again, it's, this is just without thinking much. It's like while well, I'm in an event and, and it's like you have to think fast, kind of like that. That's what I'm doing with you guys. So it will be easy if you right now attach something there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the rose. And I'm going to make the rose that you know it's not hard, especially you're going to need 10 finger tail, especially because this rose, I already show you. So you're going to see how fast you know it is when someone makes it. And you don't have to make right now the stem. I'm just making the rose more like in a, the first version I usually do when I'm in events. And it's all, all what I show you sound that even you know faster some, somehow. So okay, now with all this, you have a uh, rose. All these you have to attach it. Now I recommend you to leave like a row, approximately two finger space. That's gonna help that things are not too together and too tight. It can pop your balloon. So leave two finger there, loose the air, tight, and you have this. From here, you can attach it right here in the center. This is, and then, Imagine all these are going to be the same colors, okay? I think it's going to look even more impressive. You, if you want, you can also already attach the, the stamp with all these tips with the red, you can attach the stamp.
Now this time you can make it with 160 or with 260, but because it's gonna be already a lot here, you better try with a 260, let's see. But you can try with a 160. Now, the thing is I like the lips to be not that short because it's, I like when someone see the design that seems like a little bit that, what holds the rose came out a little bit. Cause that's what I notice in pictures, you know, but I see a real rose, but at the end, it doesn't really matter. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you have a 260 degree, okay? I know, I laugh on myself and it's like what I'm saying. You know, there's not really rules. You just do whatever you want. I'm just, you can just enjoy what I'm doing right now and then you take whatever you like or not. If you don't like it, just you saw it. It's like, I know I don't like this. And then you just use whatever you prefer. You play your balloon, this time like approximately four finger long because it's not like you're gonna pay attention much to many leaves. When you're using a 260, you don't wanna make too many leaves. I don't know, I prefer this way. I make like three or four finger loop. Another three or four finger loop. Another three or four finger loop. And with the rest, this is another thing. I squish, stretch, I make the S and twist it in half. This is how you make a sore petal uh, leaf. Now, this is fast. If you have extra tip here, you can make pinch twist, pinch twist, and then your leaves are gonna be better this way. It's an option. So your leaf will be this way if you have a pinch twist to make things more stable here and in the back. But I don't have much space here, so it's gonna stay there. So you have to play also with the balloons it's showing you, you know, you cannot, um, but that's why it's good you learn different ways to make something because it depends how much space you have or how what balloons you have available with you if you have rounds if you have a skinny so be be flexible as possible <laughs> okay you have this and you have this you can connect this already or first you start making the way now this way is going to be maybe hard for you to see so uh, but I'm, I already show you in other videos how to make this wave that I'm gonna show you right now. So that's that's a reality. And what I do it, it's sometimes you know how I feel, but it's this loop is here of the light blue. The idea is this new blue loop is gonna kind of like get in there, like in between, and the blue loop is coming with. So this part is gonna now go in the back, while the another loop the back of the other loop is gonna go in front so you're gonna make something like change of places that's it and that's where you're gonna keep going now we're talking about this new loop that is coming that is in the back and you're gonna push it and play with the purple that now is in the front so the front of the purple loop is gonna go to the back and that one in the back of the pink, this part is the back, it's gonna go in the front. So you just whoop, go like this. Now I noticed that it's making uh, the, this thing is going um, this way, it's coming this angle more. So what do you want? You want to come this way? No, you want to be closing these rows. So you, what you can do if you want, you can start moving the rows if you, if it's easy for you, all the way where you want it to be trapped in this way, you know. And then when the rose is there, it looks. You see, you see how it's coming more this way. So the rose is better there, and it's still open, but we can always close it. I'm gonna show you how. When you are here, let's keep going. Let's, you see, the next loop, the back. And, phew, and then the next one, play the back and change sides. So look at the order, what we have here. Now, this is the, some people confused because it's still open here. So you just have to make sure this and this place the same idea. Okay, so you have this. So when you notice now, you see, it kind of follow the pattern you want. In here and in here, the order. Um, you see, I don't know if you can see. You have this here, and this one's purple and more in, inside. So now what you want this to be more close. So how to close this more? It's play with um, what well, already you have the shape. Now play with that idea 
but fully more the ones that are already formed here this the, the, the part of the balloon that is coming more out you pull it more out so force more mm -hmm. and it's gonna close more your your roll so look how it's closing okay um and you can always do this look and it's closing more so when you have this then you can always you know what you can always do is even the top because this is already too open even the top here um you can always bend it grab it and bend it so that can be another idea you see it's like it's not really plans here again i'm experimenting and i'm experimenting with you so you can see whatever you know it's gonna happen also i'm like i don't know what is gonna happen let's see so now you have something like this this if everything will be red it will be really cool for a cool rose now this is what idea now what happened if this were another wave the same way we did here but inside i think that will make this design even more like a rose so that was one idea and it's okay you can like it or not i'm gonna just put things like this and this can be like a cool rose if you want imagine again all this is the same color or what happens if instead of making the rose the way i made it i'm gonna just cut take this out and i'm gonna make another wave but um this time is smaller how to make this same way but smaller you can use 160 so now you can play with 160s or you can make also 260s but not just using three because this is how many one two three four five six um let me see this is one two three four five six how many values are used for this i should know right three right so i make three maybe you can use just two for the center Cecilia, you, you're complicating myself keep watching i'm gonna use different colors this time yellow and orange okay and if you want to make this wave with two balloons this is what i think it's gonna work <laughs> you blow the balloon all the way leaving a tip the same idea giving here a little tip and that's what i'm holding here loose some air more because you want to twist each loop not just in two sides you're going to twist it in three sides uh by preference the same size right each loop so you cannot do this this is what i do i kind of third part and half so that's and then you twist it let's do this one more time you just twist each side you have this now let's go one more time blow the balloon almost all the way then lose some air and lose more than usually what we did before because we're gonna now twist it in three times right three loops one two three two, 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 two. It's soft and that's gonna be the cool part and easy to make the way there you go you what i do is i found the third part it's like by and then half so the idea is you make three loops as close as you can of the uh, three at the same, you know, three sides the same. I mean, three loops the same size. <laughs> so you twist, 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 and then you grab these three. I mean, two, two, and two, put it together. Yeah. And in order for you to be more, um, what is educational, educational, <laughs> you gonna just make one orange, one yellow one orange one yellow one orange one yellow and what you have here is you can now start making the wave or you can start attaching something in the center that is going to then be the connection for to attach it here but right now look it doesn't fit so you have to make it another wave like this but with this so we're going to repeat the same idea but i'm going to find something in this case just look as balloon scrub i blow it something like in the center basic you can make an apple twist and even can came out some little bubbles and poof many things but let's go basic you have this twist and that's gonna be the center i'm gonna attach it because it's gonna be easier right now to attach it 
because later when you have the wave, I'm gonna pass it around, it's gonna be harder. Make sure you have a long tip because this tip is gonna go also attaching all here to here and then attach the stamp, the green part. Okay, let's keep going. When you have this, just leave it there, it's okay. And it's the same idea. The loop in the front, I'm gonna use the orange. It has, for me, the front, this is my front, and then the back, right? But I'm gonna make it for you for the camera. I'm gonna say this is the front, and this one, yellow, I'm touching right now here, the back. So the idea is the front of the orange is gonna take change tones with the back of the yellow, like this, look. And this is, you have to do it for every part, you see? Now. And then the last part is the same. Now you can always bend the ones that you see that are already coming out pull them more so then it's gonna make things more stable the way you want it and okay, with that idea uh -huh. and that's what I'm doing um, okay. that's how you close it now it's close and it's smaller than this so you just put it on the side look how cool now here you have to be careful because you don't want and twist everything so you're gonna adjust a little bit of your finger past one side and while you pull it and you just keep it in the middle and pull you don't have to pull too much you know all the way no because you don't want this to try but look how beautiful you're waving it's coming and i think this totally if you make it one color especially it's gonna look like a awesome amazing props <laughs> Now, you still have the tip here, and it's time to attach it to a stamp. Now, this is what I'm gonna do, and this can be a perfect gift for Mother's Day. Yep. And I'm just passing it on the same idea, I pass it to the basic one. And look, ta -da -da -tum, ta -da 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 -tum. How awesome. You can make a rainbow rose, or look, no matter what, and this is cool. It's like, what is it? A rose? No, it's not a rose. Well, it's something cool, for sure. Nobody's gonna say no, it's not something cool. No, it's cool, it's cool, it's awesome. And it can be any type of flower. It can be your own flower. Look, I, I tried to make a rose, but this is what it came and take it or leave it. <laughs> I think it's a really cool design. I love it, I'm so happy because I didn't know what I'm gonna make it. I didn't know how it's gonna look, really. I didn't know, I just was thinking, well, I know, it. Tom was talking about waving, and with practice, waving is super easy. You just don't think much, you just do it. You see that movement I was doing? It's that. Da, 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 da. And now then, with practice, you make this with all one color, okay? Um, but for line twisting, for sure, this is a very cool choice. Even this waving for line twisting, you can use it just the basic, the center, this one. If you're already using this with two balloons, in the center you just can easily attach this one. And it's gonna totally be a rose, but it's open. Oh, can you see? You understand what I'm saying? Instead of making all the big one with three balloons to 60, you just go ahead and grab two balloons to 60, make that, the, this waving, the yellow and orange, just two balloons, and in the center, it's gonna fit that rose with one balloon. So at the end, you're using three balloons, and this is how you make the petals for the rose, and one for the stamp, 160 or 260. Should we make this longer so you can see what I'm talking about, and then I have another flower? What do you think? Should we? I think, why not? And the thing is, this is what I wanna share with you. Um, some videos I make takes forever, of course, and you don't have to watch all the long videos. You can always far forward, you can always uh, <laughs> mute so you don't have to hear my voice. <laughs> so imagine we have this, we just made it to save time. It's a 260 red balloon. Even this is red, imagine that, okay? So we just made it, you know how I made it because 
you saw the beginning of the tutorial then you're gonna grab um another color so let's go with purple and let's go with orange so we have these two just only two you blow this, so this is a, you blow all the way you leave a tip boom, boom, let some air out and not just a little of air out a lot like look So you feel soft and squishable everywhere of this orange balloon, okay? Why? Because you're gonna twist it in three times, right? If you're gonna um, twist this in three equal sizes, okay? Twist, trim, 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 trim. You have this, repeat one more time. Again, we're using different colors because of an educational purpose, but you don't have to. Again, loose air. It's all the way inflated and now loose air. So then everywhere is soft and squishable. I'm not just and that's it. No, lose more, more because it's gonna be easier for you. Okay, not all, not all the air, of course. Now you pew pew three pieces as close as you can. Look, oh Cecilia, wait a minute. One is shorter and these ones are longer. It's okay. Don't get too frustrated because sometimes those little mistakes is gonna make you waste more time. And that can be a bigger mistake, especially when you want to show up like you are productive. You can make more than just a couple in one hour. Okay. Um, but again, remember, all what I say, it's just my experience and what I prefer. So you prefer to take your time, it's good. Take your time. You have this. You have this. If you want, you can attach it already. Or you can take a risk and make it a little bit harder. You decide. I'm going to use the wave in this way and you will see if it's easier for you. So what I'm doing, this loop, I'm going to use the back of the loop of the purple and the front of the loop of the orange and just take change positions. And the same is going to go. Now, this orange, I'm going to use the back and I'm going to trade it with the purple, the front, like this. Look how my left hand is also helping to keep the shape I'm forming. I do this and now I grab this and it's keeping the shape so then it doesn't get untwist. Okay. See? And when you get to the last one, that can be a little bit tricky, but it's not impossible. Okay, so just do it. And then you close them because I think it's better, but it's up to you. And then also another way, remember, while you see that it's coming out more, you pull it out more. So then it's gonna help to keep more the shape. See? Mm -hmm. okay. Now you grab the flower that you already made, put it in here. And I'm going to start looking for a little, little hole. And I feel it. Don't break it. Don't put your whole hands. No, just a little bit. I, I found the green thing. And then you, when you pull it, try to take it to the center. Pull and take it to the center. And then you pull more there. And you have here your connection for the stamp. And look, imagine if this is all the same color. This is a cool rose. So this is the rose I choose. Winner. Boop, boop. Now, let's go with the stamp to kind of like boom, 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 play with a 160 gram. So now we, you see, see difference and variabilities. And now the same, it's the same idea. Blow it. Remember, like three, four finger tail. A loop, like three, four finger loop. Another three or four finger loop. Another three or four finger loop. Twist, two, put it, put them, and then you can make this like S shoe and twist in the center. And if you feel like, oh, I have more here, I can make another pair of leaves, squishing and twisting. Okay. Um, and then pew, 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 pew. You have this. And now you grab your tip, pull, and pass this around. Okay. So what I'm doing, and pam, 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 pam. 
and ta -da -da -da, ladies and gentlemen this is a beautiful rose now i have to confess because it's a 160 it's like kind of wiggly 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 if you make pinch twist here pinch twist here it's gonna maybe be more stable but for sure it's gonna be more stable if you use a 260 green for this rose tell me in the comments which one is your favorite rose which one is your favorite for many many uh, reasons fastest cool rose um elaborated more awesomeness like because it took longer or because it's in the middle and you have all the factors resume it's a resume and i like that i like that resumes because it can be fast connect two ideas waving and twisting um uh, this way so and imagine all with the same color now if i do now all with the same color it would take forever but should i do it why not why because i want also you to see what is something important is the time now in real life okay if i'm with that oh if i'm if that happens like it's okay <laughs> like, i'm too relaxed it's fine no worries now, my agenda takes forever to blow the balloons. Yes, why? Because it's old. And also, um, I, you can be faster with a floor pump. Okay, so, but I'm using a little agenda and so you can have an idea. Manual pump, it can be faster, maybe, but uh, you wanna start sweating more. Now, I'm gonna show you in real time, real life, my favorite of all these roses I show you. So I'm just using two, but I know I'm gonna need another one and it's all in the same color, so you can now see in case you want it, well, Cecilia, my brain cannot see all in the same color. Do you do it? I am doing it. So I'm starting with the basic one. So people start saying, oh yeah, it's a rose. And then you can tell the story of the rose. You know what happened with roses? They open, they look so beautiful, and then they die. So, and then they die and you can pop the balloon, right? <laughs> when they die, like, yep. You can do that too if you want. Okay, so I have this, and then let's go with this. Three, two, two, bam, 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 bam. If your balloon starts losing air here like this, it's fine. You just regular the air, pushing some, playing with that. It's okay, don't feel frustrated. Remember, things doesn't have to be perfect. You just do your best, enjoy it, and time to twist the waving and I don't really even think about it really and uh, that's what I I try to um kind of like tell you you know like teach the way it's a very crazy thing because it's something that you don't really teach uh, I mean it have a start it have a, a pattern yes but you don't really teach it much and sometimes you know it's not what you expect and things can be all messy and if that happens you know, I recommend you something. Uh, you just keep going. Don't give up, okay? You just keep going. Look at this. It's a waving uh, craziness because because I am crazy. Uh, so it's fine. Even the waving doesn't have to be perfect in the moment. You are enjoying the moment. That's the most important thing. So look, because anything is that perfect. Okay, so then it is. This it is. This is what it is. Um, you can accommodate things, of course. You can make things better, always. You can take your time, of course. So it's up to you. I'm gonna leave it this way, and this is what I'm gonna show you, and, and I, I like it. In all the same color, it looks really cool, especially when you make it in person. Remember, practice your wave. Uh, don't give up in the waving, because it's gonna help you for a lot of things, like skirts for princesses. That's another cool thing. Now, uh, because of timing, and uh, this is what I found, it's a green. 260 so I'm just using it doing it um so you can see I know sometimes it takes time because I'm talking but it gives me the chance to show you all the other ways I was talking about the leaves too remember I said well if you have some extra balloon you can always do this with the leaves you see why not yeah in both sides pinch twist now let's attach it and that's it trust me this is a cool way fast if you practice this is can be very fast 
to make a, a rose, an open rose. Open rose, open rose, and super open crazy rose. <laughs> Imagine it with the same color, this is how it's gonna look. And my wedding here, it wasn't that perfect, but it's fine. I don't, I'm not gonna die about it. See, you can always accommodate it because, yeah, it's like if I'm seeing it and I, why not, let's accommodate it, but you don't have to. You can always make things better, of course. The idea is don't frustrate, don't be too too hard with you, with yourself. Now, how beautiful, how beautiful. I hope you like it, thank you so much. Thank you all of you for watching my videos, for liking, subscribing. We are over at 8,000 subscribers, which is awesome. I'm super happy. Uh, don't forget, I wanna see your comments. What do you think about the flower? Look, this is gonna be a very awesome, beautiful bouquet. Uh, Mother's Day is coming, so make it and give it to a beautiful mom. Um, a very awesome way you can collaborate with this channel. Check out my Amazon wish list. And Amazon, you can find a lot of things for balloon twister, balloon decorers, and that's a very awesome way you can collaborate with this channel. Another way is in the description, you will see my address. You can always bring balloons to me. Ten, ten balloons. I love balloons, all type of balloons. So you can always collaborate by donating balloons. You can also donate money on my PayPal account or my Bemo account. Yes, just donating because from 5, 10, 20, 50, I accumulate to make an awesome order of balloons or balloon, you know, like outfits for, you know, events, equipment. Um, so that's a very cool part, you know. Uh, sharing is caring. If you have the possibilities to collaborate, any of those choices are always very well appreciated. And also with your comments, your likes and your good vibes, why not? It helps. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.